Crafters, I'm Daniela with Dizzy's Art Workshop. Before we get started on today's DIY, I'd like to show y'all three items. The first two items are these very cute liquid eyeliners. And I actually bought these at Dollar Tree and I'm actually wearing them right now. If you check me out on Instagram, you can see my little review on these really cute eyeliners. Now my second item are these very, very beautiful Frida earrings, which I bought from an Etsy shop, Hermosura Huichol. You can check her out on Etsy or Instagram. Anyways guys, let's get started on today's DIY, which was inspired by this spiked sphere gold sculpture. And I actually saw this sculpture at Amazon for about $87. And I made mine for only about $5 or so. If you love upcycling and DIYs on a budget, this craft is for you. So let's jump right in and let's get crafty. I will list materials used in the description below. We will begin by using bamboo skewers that I bought at Dollar Tree. Mine came in a pack of 80, but I will only use about 50 and I will cut them in half with a wire cutter. You may use more if you like. It just depends how full you want your sphere. Once I cut, I ended up with a total of about 100 sticks. You might notice that one of your skewer sides will be a little rough along the edges where we cut, so simply sand down just a bit to smooth out. The paint I'm using is in a metallic pure gold and the brand is Folkart. But if you choose to simply spray paint after assembling, that will work too. This is just what I had at home and I really like the coverage that the brand Folk Art gives. I'm painting a dowel that's about 12 inches and I purchased at Dollar Tree. I set it up on a foam block just so I can handle it better. As you can see, I also used a styrofoam craft ball, which I actually found at a general dollar store that came in a pack. I inserted it in my dowel and I painted as well. Since I am painting my skewers by hand, I will be inserting them little by little and painting as I go. Oh, and it will be easier by inserting your skewers with the pointy part first so the hole is made nicer. You can make the hole first with those pointy skewers for the ones that have a flat end and before putting those in. This will help maintain your styrofoam nice and smooth. For the base, I am using a wooden block that's about 2x4. You may purchase at Home Depot for about $2 or so. With a ruler mark in X and we will drill at the center with a quarter inch drill bit. You may also use some blue tape to indicate how far in you will go in the block so you don't go too far in. Now let's paint our block in gold. And guys, I actually forgot to do this part earlier, but make sure you glue your dowel inside your styrofoam ball so it doesn't twirl around. Then place your dowel inside your block with no glue necessary. This project reminded me of 1 Peter 1 7, which says that the proof of our faith is more precious than gold. Whatever you're going through, remember you and your faith are important to God. Stay crafty! 